Hey guys, Brett here, and as a product reviewer and person that's in the IM business and sells my own software, sometimes I come up with a little bit of a problem. And the problem that I have is when I review a product, but it's by somebody that I've worked with before. Either they've promoted for me, or I've worked with them on a project together, and I, you know, I do business with them, and I review their product, and it's not a good product. So I end up with a little bit of like an internal conflict, like do I really want to be so bluntly honest and, and tell everybody how bad their product actually is and maybe burn that bridge and lose that contact and hurt my business? And you know, sometimes this happens and sometimes I have to really think about what I want to do. But every time I think about it, I always come up with the exact same answer. And the answer is that I owe everybody who goes on my blog, who's on my list and who watches my reviews, 100% honesty. They've given me their trust and I need to be completely honest. And if this causes me to burn a bridge or lose a contact in my business, well, you know what? So be it. Today, I was actually put in that situation again. Today, I'm looking at Vid Promo Pages. It's a new product by Radu. And what it is, is it's a WordPress plugin that's designed to allow you to create video landing pages, sales pages, and squeeze pages. The problem with it is it is nowhere near a professional quality product. You know, I've been playing around with this thing for an hour now, and I've been trying to think of something good that I could say about it. But there's really not that much good I could say. Uh, let me actually show you how it works. Here I am. I'm logged into a test WordPress blog. And I'm going to go over here on the left. And I'm going to click on the Vid Promo Pages plugin. And you can see it says, thanks for purchasing Vid Promo Pages. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. It has the vendor's email address. Or use the contact page on my site. Oh, uh, no link or anything. That would make sense. Use the contact page on my site. And here's not a link to my site. Not really sure how that makes sense. Check out the tutorial video on the thank you page to see how the plugin works. Well, why do they have to put the tutorial video on the thank you page? Why can't they put it like right here? I mean, that would make common sense now, wouldn't it? Like I'm in the plugin right now and, uh, you know, you could just as easily embed a YouTube video right here in this page. Uh, but they decided to put it on the thank you page. And what that does is it actually shows like a lack of foresight and a lack of thinking and uh, a lack of professionalism as well. And unfortunately, I'm not just being picky here because this lack of professionalism carries through the entire product. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new video page. So this is the interface to create a new video page. And you can see it's very basic. There's a button that says customize, edit, and template. Uh, now, the customize button doesn't really make any sense right now because I don't have a video page even created. I'm not working on one, so I don't even know why they even have the customize or the edit page. But let's go ahead and click on the templates and select from the templates. Uh, it's going to ask me if I want a squeeze page or a sales page. I'm going to go ahead and select a squeeze page. And then it's going to show me all of the squeeze page templates. And the one thing that I'll say about this, I, I did think of something good I could say about this plugin. It does have a whole bunch of templates. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squeeze page templates, and there are and there are twenty-five sales page templates. And you know what? I was gonna create a squeeze page, but let's go ahead and actually make a sales page instead. Uh, so let's look at one of the sales page templates here that looks interesting that we can then edit. Uh, let's pick this one right here. So I'll click on the button right next to it, and then I'll click on the use this. Okay, so this is now my sales page template, and I can go ahead and edit the sales page here. So in order to edit the sales page, I first will probably want to edit the text, and this is easy enough to do. You can go ahead and you can just click on it, and then it's a WYSIWYG editor, you can edit the text. When you want to edit the video, you got to hit on the customize button, and it'll ask you what video you want to put in there. You can enter your own embed code and it will replace the existing video. You can click on the autoresponder to enter your autoresponder code, which makes absolutely no sense because this is a sales page and doesn't have a autoresponder form on it. Uh, the, you know, a, a sensible thing to do would be to only show you the autoresponder button if you're editing a squeeze page. Uh, but of course they don't do that because that would be like, you know, too much work to make the interface actually make sense. You can add your own custom CSS here if you want to add your own custom CSS. And for anybody that doesn't know, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. So CSS is how you, you format you know, a, a web page with CSS to format the elements, give them colors, things like that. You can add your own custom CSS. 
And it's kind of cool that they put this in here that you can add your own custom CSS, but most people don't know how to write CSS code. And the point of a page like this anyway is not to have to write your own code. Uh, so it would have been better if they just made the interface like more powerful and more functional so that you, way you can edit the styling of the page uh, without having to add you know, your own custom CSS. And you can also add your own JavaScript code here. Now that's something that makes absolute sense. It makes sense to allow you to add your own custom JavaScript uh, because you know that's not something they can make with an interface. So I was I was actually pretty happy to see that they they added that. Okay, so we can see how to edit the video and we can see how to edit the text. But how do I edit this graphic? Like, what if I want to change this graphic? What if I want to delete it? What if I don't even want a graphic here? How do I edit that graphic? Uh, there really is no way to edit that graphic at all. How do I edit this graphic right here? I, I really can't see any way to edit the graphic right here either, um, you know, or any of the graphics on the page. I don't see any way to do that. It's easy to see how to edit the text. You just click on it, and I was able to find how to edit the video in this customize area, uh, but I can't see any way to edit these graphics. And if there is a way to edit the graphics, it's not very intuitive it's not like in my face I can't really see how to do it now granted I didn't watch the tutorial video and the reason I didn't watch the tutorial video is because it's on the thank you page and I was given a review access so I never saw the tutorial video because they didn't have the sense to actually put tutorials inside of the plugin as a matter of fact they didn't even have the sense to put links to their site inside of the plugin so when I was looking around to try to figure out how to edit that graphic I, I decided to click on this edit button I mean that makes sense right click on the edit button so it asks me then, what do I want to edit? Do I want to edit the page background, which is cool. I can click on this. I can edit the page background by selecting an you know, image to change the background image. Or I can select solid color to change the background to a different solid color. So I'll just go ahead and pick one from the color picker here. I'll click OK, and then I'll click Save. And it will change my background. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I wanted to have an image, I can upload an image and it would change that. Uh, but I can't see any way to edit these graphics at all. So I started clicking some of the other buttons, right? Well, template background, that seems pretty obvious. I'm going to click on that and it's going to edit the template's background. I don't want to do that. I don't want to change the template. So I decided to click on this edit page button. So let me go ahead and click on that. And at first I thought nothing was happening. So I'm clicking on it and it seemed like nothing was happening. I thought, oh, okay, it's broken. And then I scrolled up here. And I can see it's bringing up this weird thing where it's showing me all of the pages that are on this site and I can edit them. I can click on it and edit them. It's basically just bringing me up all the pages again, all the existing pages. It makes no sense. It's absolutely stupid to even have this here. You know, I'm, I'm in the middle of editing a page. Why are you going to bring up this really poorly done list? of all the pages that already exist in the site where I can delete them and edit them. There's no reason for this to be in the editor. Where this should have been was on the home page where they're saying that, you know, thank you for purchasing. It would have made a lot more sense to put this stuff, you know, the existing pages with the delete buttons and the, you know, edit buttons right inside of the home page in a dashboard as opposed to putting them in this interface. And then it just shows in this really poorly way too. I mean, it's so horrible. Uh, even worse, now that it's up here, I can't figure out how to get rid of it. I click on the edit button page again. I click on it again. I, I thought I just got it away. Yeah, I, I stopped for a second there because I was getting all mad and clicking the button like 300 times and I thought it was going away, uh, but it's not. It, it just keeps reloading. That's, that's it. How do I get rid of that? I don't see how to do it. Am I missing a close button or something somewhere? I No, I don't. So not only that, is it stupid to have it in this interface, in the builder interface, when you're you know, trying to build a page? But now that I've clicked it, I pretty much screwed myself uh, because I can't get rid of it, and it's stuck there over my page that I'm trying to build. So I guess what I'll do now is just save my page and, uh, you know, try to go back or something, you know, and, and edit again. So there's a text box on the right-hand side here, and I'm assuming that this is to type in my name on my page. But check that out. I clicked on it. And it, it showed my cursor so I could type. But as soon as I started typing, there's it's nothing. There's no text or anything. And now I can't click it again. So I don't even... You know what? I could just keep going on and on and on about this. But as you can probably tell, I'm getting really annoyed with this plugin. You know, and it I like Radu. 
And, you know, I think he's a great guy, but he, he is not the software developer. He is a marketer, not a developer. And uh, I will say this, though. He, he, I, I feel like he dropped the ball on this one. This is not a professional quality product. This is a total piece of junk. I can't believe that any developer would put their name on this and say, like, look, this is what I have, and I'm proud of this. This is amateur hour at its finest. And, you know, and, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm, I'm being annoyed or I'm being too aggressive in this video, and maybe I am. But it really upsets me when people put out these junk products. And the reason it upsets me is it because it makes people think that all of the software in the IM is bad. You know, the people will buy this and they're going to want to try to build a quality squeeze page. They're going to realize that it's a crappy product. They're going to feel ripped off. They're going to feel cheated. You know, they're going to feel like they got screwed. And they're going to think, oh, look, I am is just people screwing, you know, screwing guys like me. And it's really not that way. But it upsets me when people put out these bad products because it gives all of us a bad name. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video um, because I'm a little bit emotional about this one. And that's unfair when I'm doing a review. I, but what I am going to finally just say is that this is not worth buying. <laughs> I guess that's pretty obvious at this point. But, uh, you know, I hope the review here helped you a little bit. Um, if you want to go ahead and try it out, it's only like 15 bucks. But honestly, you might as well just take a $10 bill and a $5 bill out of your wallet and burn it. Uh, because this is not worth buying. It's not a professional quality product. Maybe they could give it away for free or something. But I wouldn't even give this away for free because you're not going to impress anybody with this product. Uh, so... Anyway, guys, thank you and enjoy.